We are Steve and Jill. Together, we've been buying and reselling land since the 90s. Our data-centric approach leaves our buyers asking, how can you sell it so cheap? Here on the Land Academy Show. We answer that and more. Stephen Jill here. Hi. Welcome to the Land Academy Show, entertaining land investment talk. I'm Stephen Jack Butella. And I'm Jill DeWitt, broadcasting from pretty Phoenix, Arizona. Today is Jack Thursday, and I'm going to talk about constant change, personally and professionally. Shouldn't be no surprises here. Mm -hmm. Yet, we get constant questions. I'm not talking about changing your marital status <laughs> or the number of children <laughs> or things like that. That's not what we mean by constant change. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. <laughs> this is all because on Discord, uh, somebody who is brand new, uh, rightfully so, requested that we add a channel called New Stupid Questions. Oh. because I And I didn't realize this, but people were kind of intimidated about asking brand new questions, and that should never happen in an environment oh. like this. And so, Put stupid questions <laughs> here. <laughs> just new, brand new oh, questions yeah. like, like, is 40 acres better than 20? Oh. You know, and that's, and I'm in there actively saying there's no such thing. There isn't no such thing as a, a silly question or exactly. a wrong question. It's okay. In that channel. Yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of places where that's a ridiculous question, okay. including some places in Land Academy. But got it. <laughs> I understand. That's what this is about. So, there's a disclaimer <laughs> if, you, if you open this thread, be ready. <laughs> that's good. Before we get into it, let's take a question posted by one of our members on the landinvestors.com online community. It's free. And if you're land, uh, already a Land Academy member, join us on Discord, like I just said. Danielle wrote, when sending out neighbor letters, do you just send a certain radius around a property? How far out do you go? Thanks. Okay. I specifically chose this question because of this topic. Mm -hmm. What do you think the answer is? So you get a certain number. Because you. I want I don't want like three I want a lot. Na okay, let me back up. Are you getting mad? You look like you had like a... <gasps> no, I'm not mad at you. Oh, thought. And I'm not, certainly not mad at Danielle, but I'm... Just go ahead. Well, you know I'll, what? Now I'll I'm afraid to answer. To oh, I'm not going to answer now. You what go. What do you think the answer is to this question? <laughs> to get... Why are, and why are we trying to put this in a box? This is not... It has nothing to do with Danielle. Please don't no, take this personally. I I personally go out far enough... That the I have answer a is... <laughs> It constantly changes. Oh God! Okay, I, I can't don't know. win. No, there's not. There's no mat. Everyone's trying to. There's a, a constant theme that goes on in Land Academy, and I think in life, where everyone's trying to get a straight answer. Yeah. A straight hard I understand. answer. It's not one point two. Yes. Miles. Thank you, Joe. That's fair. Okay. Now I understand where you're trying to go with this. Yeah, because one point two miles, depending on here's why. 1.2 miles, depending on how big all the properties are around there, might give you 10. And that's really not enough. So how many maybe, is enough? You, maybe you go, so uh, enough that. You can't answer that. All right. There's no question. There's well, no answer enough to Enough that you're going to yield it's a bunch of feedback. Changing. It <laughs> constantly changes. And you have to get, this is what's beautiful about real estate and what is awful about, let's say, day trading. <laughs> This is because there is, is an answer. Thursday. It, there is an answer about day trading to everything. Mm -hmm. If you do this, this, and this, and this, and this, and this, this is what's going to happen. It's mm -hmm. an, one big if then statement, and it's right there in your computer screen for you. And that's why tons and tons of people do it. And very few people buy and sell real estate successfully. Exactly. <laughs> what, are, what are you writing down there? <laughs> <laughs> Jill's running down. Jill's you know what, piling well, you know what? Here's what happened. You were on a rant, so I decided to work on the grocery list. <laughs> so what's on there? Tell me. Actually, this is a whole different thing to to um, so a guy that works for us. Honestly, this is not a grocery list, but it's a list of things for Gonzalo to do because I was just letting you run post production stuff. Pretty much. Today is Jack Thursday. <laughs> There's constant change, personally and professionally. Uh, professionally, this is why you're listening. Why am I here on Jack Thursday? <laughs> I'm joking. You can go. Uh, I'll do this by no. myself if you want. It's okay. You have a lot to say. And I'm going to let you go here. I will. I'll. Uh, I'll. I'll. I'll refrain to my comments till the end when it's when when it if and when it's appropriate. You know how uh, really young children, toddlers, will say, "Why? Why? What's this? Why?" 
they don't actually want an answer. They just want attention and they want you to talk to them. And, and that's a very healthy and normal and uh, probably essential part of, of children's development. And it's a, it has its place in education too. So there's always somebody in the class who sits in the front row and it's constantly saying, why? Tell me about this, why? They just want attention. There's con th here's the answer to 95% of all questions. It's, con it's gonna change next week. And so, no, I don't know how far out to send a neighbor letter uh, unless I look at the piece of property and see Jill, what Jill said, work through it logically and say, you know, I might have to go out 25 miles on this one to capture um, enough reasonable people to reach enough for reasonable, uh, reasonable targets to sell a property. Or I might, if it's a densely populated area, I might only have to go out a mile to reach the logical, the one, one, that one logical buyer. That's the answer to everything. I don't know the answer. What did you do this deal? It cracks me up. It happens all the time. What did you do this deal? It's three acres in XYZ place in Florida, and I'm gonna buy it for $12,000. How the hell would I know whether or not, there's so much more information I need. I need to look at it. I need to <laughs> run all kinds of analysis on it. They're not asking, you can't possibly expect Jill and I or anyone to know if that's a good deal or not, but without providing all the information and in a, in a location, every piece of property, this is not my opinion. This is the law. This is what the legal, the law, legal status of real estate is. In the eyes of the law, every single piece of property is unique. There is no other one like it. Not right next door, not the same size. It's totally and completely in, and unique and it needs to be treated that way. And I agree with that. Just like people. Whatever goes on between Jill and I personally now, this is not professionally, will uh -oh. change next week. There's constant change. There's going to be a better way to buy and sell real estate next year, guaranteed, than we do it right now. You know, right now, Jill and I are buying property and going through minor splits and making a, a small fortune all the time. I can, without question, guarantee you that next year we will be on to some other type of thing because everything constantly changes. That's why there's Land Academy 1.0, 2.0, and now I'm doing 3.0 because the applications and the tools that we use are changing. So please keep this in mind when you, when you ask questions like this. What does zoning 400 mean? What does land use 200 mean? Those have answers, but you gotta look them up. It means, I don't know what it means. Mm -hmm. It could mean something in Florida. It could mean something in California. Mm -hmm. They're all, 400 is a totally different classification, even one county over. Mm -hmm. Same state, that's true. Are you okay? Yeah, you I, I'm just tired of it. I mean, oh. that's, a, that's the truth of it. I'm tired of it. You know, okay, I, I understand. I thought today's show was gonna be about like, hey, just 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 roll with the punches. You know, this is, this is here, I'm gonna jellify it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna sit here quietly. <laughs> okay. This is what Jack Thursday is. I mean, it's the truth. I, we get that. But so you just have to, like I said, you have to roll with this and be patient and do some work. This is a lot of work. You know, constant, not only is it constantly changing, sure, markets are changing. You know, if we had a secret county list, heaven forbid, but if we did, it would be different every five months. We'd have a new secret county list. Because there's, it's a good example of how now this example. is hot, now that's hot, now this changes, now this is flooded, now we're going over here, and oh, there's fires, and who knows whatever. This, it's going to happen all the time. So you just kind of have to roll with it, expect it. Um, and you said personally, I'm looking at the title, personally and professionally. Well, you're kind, you should be used to it personally because you you're alive and you're <laughs> adult, and you you got you you get that. Um, but professionally, it's the same thing. You know, it's, I could never do it. I remember, okay, this is so funny. I remember, you know, having a job. I had a job with American Airlines for 17 years. You're saving this episode. Thank you. You're welcome. And there were people, I, I remember day one of this job. And there were people on the phones taking calls and reservations from people to book trips, right? And they've been sitting in those same seats for 30 years and more. And I went, what the heck? How did they do that? But they loved it. So they did not did want change. Oh, no, they did. 
No, nah, they really they didn't. Want any they didn't want change. So I'm, I'm trying to say there's a place for those people too. So I, that's not me. I couldn't stand Jeez, it. Jeez, Joe. And I'm like, so even though I was with that company for that many years, I did not do the same job for that many years. I bounced around with all kinds of jobs and got a lot of different experiences. And it was, and it was really helpful. You know, I'm, I'm happy I did it. I mean, I needed that life experience clearly to figure out this is way better <laughs> and more profitable. But some people don't want change and they dig in and try not to have change. So if that's you, I, I, I understand. I'm familiar with that. This might not be the place for you. Yep. <laughs> you know what? Thank you. You're welcome. This is constantly changing. Yeah. It's going to be different next week, actually. It's true. Oh, this is going to be completely different next year. You know, it's funny. I was even having I love that, by the way. Things, little things change too. Like I was trying to help someone do a purchase agreement and the other day. And I'm like, why are you complicating this? Don't put that much information in there too, because it's going to change. Hey, the recording fees right now are $30. I've had this happen. I mailed in a check. And then by the time the check arrived, it was the beginning of the month and they changed the recording fees. Now it's $32. So I'm like, okay, fine. You have I to do this embrace again. that. It's just going to, things change. You have to embrace change. Yeah. And it's no big deal. So just, just. The internet is one big ball of change. Oh, and, that's true. And we're true. in the internet business. That's true. You know, we happen to sell land, but it's on the, we're really in the tech uh, data internet business mm -hmm. and that. Look at what's changed uh, since you and I started buying and selling oh, land. Oh my goodness. It's just, there was a real quest and that's it. Now there's like five places to get really high quality data. You brought up something brilliant. This is how I want to end this for me. Things change that, and you change. So we talked about things changing. We get that. Now you're going to change. And you just started to allude to that a few minutes ago, which I think is awesome. We were on Career Path the other day talking about how we've changed. Look at the deals that we've been doing and look at the deals that we do now. And you brilliantly said the other day, like, oh, Jill, what do you see what we're going to do next year? I'm like, you know what? You're right. I'm not sure what I'm going to be working on next year. Who knows? It might, I might be buying apartment buildings next year. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But I'll tell you this, it's going to be different than what I'm doing today. And I'm ready for it. Here's a few things that are constant. And, and when these questions come up, here's how I answer them. And we answered it a couple days ago uh, with the, uh, on Monday with the nephew questions. Where's a good place to buy land? These are questions that Jill and I get mm. all the time. A place, a good place to buy land is where it's cheap. Yep. This is not a question, you know, that's not a question that you want an answer to. You just right. want, you just want attention. Thank you. Happy you could join us today. Five days a week, you can find us right here on the Land Academy Show. Tomorrow is Jill Friday. Thank goodness. <laughs> Please, Jack, stop with your crap. <laughs> and it's called, when is the right time to leave your job? You are not alone. In your real estate ambition. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> I'm laughing myself. You feel better now. <laughs> Sometimes I, I'm like, man, are you okay? When I'm we, like, so Jill and I are going to event in a few months, you're going to release showing up for life. Let's, mm -hmm. So Jack Thursday really is a prelude, prelude to showing up for life. We, mm -hmm. we actually have members who contact me directly and say for these Jack Thursday things and say, thank you for telling the truth. Oh. I get a lot of email on, about this, like multiple emails uh, a week on mm. on my silly uh, rants on Thursday. Mm. Do you get any on your beautiful Jill Friday? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't get any. I don't get the emails like you get. I haven't gotten one that says, man, you're an idiot. I think on YouTube there's a couple in there. It's like, just, just knock it off. Yeah. I which mean, I, think, I get, which I think is now I know I'm I'm doing my job. I get different emails though. It's really nice. I get a lot of people like, I you know what? I take it back. I do get some um, loving um, things thanking me for inspirational. Um, How do you put up with them, kind of thing? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but like motivating them and helping helping them move forward with whatever it is like tomorrow. So it's good. Do you need to send out a few thousand offers like we do? Check out offers to owners.com. That's offers and number two owners.com. No setup fees, free mail merge, exceptional service, and now included concierge pricing. Check it out and give offers to owners a call today. We, we are Steven Jill. Jill. Information and inspiration to buy undervalued property. 
We hope you find our content valuable and we appreciate your support. If you have not already, please check out our channel and hit the subscribe button. And your comments and suggestions help us uh, to create the content you're here for. Hitting the like button helps to support our channel's algorithm and gauge your interest for future shows. 